Arjun and Abu, the two opening batsmen from Shristi Lions. Arjun on strike. First ball of the first over about to be undertaken. I might be wrong, but I am assuming the Shristi Lions have decided to play it safe. Mound up those runs, one run by another run. And stack up that score, like Kunnu said, of close to 70 to 80 runs. Out of 48 legal deliveries. A little bit of confusion. No runs taken. Considering the team power of collective team power of I Love Mumbai, and if Shishi Lions have done their homework well, not even a single opportunity should be given to a strong team like I Love Mumbai. You give them an opportunity, and you would for sure lose a wicket. Four runs for no loss. Four balls delivered on the first over. That was a, that was a good attempt, but unfortunately, he edged the ball out of his bat and a very early wicket. I don't think so it was required uh, at this stage to give a wicket or throw a wicket rather uh, from the side of Shishti Lions. This is, this, is, this is the magic of this game, you know. Very unpredictable. You keep re-strategizing at each ball. It is not only a physical game, but a mental game as well. And uh, mentally and physically, you are for sure getting stressed out. That is the beauty of this game. I love Mumbai rising a little higher in terms of confidence after taking a single wicket. On their toes, not in any quarter whatsoever. The Shishti Lions. The Shishti Lions have to stack up that score of 70 plus runs, 80 plus runs. For sure, need to go over to the moon. Singles, fights, full uh, trouble, maximum 60 runs. For those additional 10 12 runs to comfort cushion of being up there in terms of the highest scoring teams, they need to go in for an over, right? They need to take those risks. those boundaries and Deacon Dhari sponsored the Super 8 board. Good process of clarifying your misunderstandings so we avoid controversies. White ball given.
eight runs on the completion of the first one. Abu trying but not being able to connect with the ball. Gesture is saying that it's all okay. I'm going to make it all okay. Good shot on the offside. And comfortably one more one run to pin. Mounting up the scores slowly and steadily. Another white ball. You know, uh, as I am talking about how the matches are going on, how this game is going on, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people working behind the scenes to making the Granite Cricket Bash such a, such a successful venture. Everything that you see on the field, right from the food, the lights, to the matches being organized between each teams with the seating arrangements there are quite a few people and you are doing such wonderful work behind the curtains so big thank you and a big round of applause for all these people and also a big thank you and big applause for Seven Star Digital for getting these, these matches live for you on YouTube and on television Shishti Lions, the dugout also using up um, some psychological warfare by cheering up the team and on each and every uh, run or each and every delivery that the bowler gives. So they're trying their level best to support the team members who are out there batting. seasonal team to be affected. There is a focus and they know their purpose, they know their goal. They've learned a lesson in the last match. They have to control these guys and even if they allow them to, they'll be, they should allow them to or rather they will be allowing them to make a maximum of 30-35 runs which for them I love Mumbai would be an achievement to Like we said, and like I discussed earlier with Karan and Akibai, is that it's such an unpredictable sport, cricket. You plan for something, something else happens. And like I mentioned earlier, you need to re strategize after every ball. Tyrell, all rounders, many all rounders, should I say. I love Mumbai. Back brilliantly in the last match. Now he's been given the reins to bowl. Let's see if he can yield a wicket. Abu, the captain of Shishti Lions on strike. Oh, that was a close call. That definitely would have been a wicket. Safely played. A little bit of a fumble, but round one run taken successfully. Third over going on. Third ball of the third over. They already scored 17 runs. I don't know. I'm quite inexperienced uh, comparatively as far as the sport is concerned. I have a major part of it being being a spectator. But I don't know for what reason Abu is not connecting those shots. Got ball. Tyrell mounting that pressure. Abu trying to hit. It can be a deadly combination.
finally connects good communication between the two batsmen Touched the ball and gone in for another run. Over ends. Batsman switch sides. It's 19 runs for one wicket. Fourth all coming up. Fourth over, one over away from the fifth over. The double trouble over, sponsored by Nataraj Hospitality Bar and Grill. And I have nicknamed it as Double Edged Sword Over, but that is still to come. Let's see how these guys perform. Whether we get big sixes or fours to see, or Shishi Lion melts under pressure. And gives away a wicket. A little bit of a lighter movement between the batsmen on strike and their team members drag out. Restrategizing, repositioning themselves. I love Mumbai. Matches win, matches, ladies and gentlemen. Good attempt. That's what she means. Not ball. She stands need to Overdrive drive is for some big rounds, big hits. Don't fuck up that score, that pressure. Straight drive. Good throw. I love Mook. Showing the colors, showing white. Also known as very well oiled machine as far as the side. Who hits it between the gaps? Two runs out of that single ball. Who runs for it? There is a very famous terminology in motorcycle racing or any form of water sports. Say you drive it like you stole it, and Abu ran as if he stolen something from someone. That's another wicket. A tempting ball given. And like I said, and like I mentioned earlier, Abu hasn't been able to connect the ball. And after so many times or after so many attempts, if you can't connect the ball, and if you get a tempting ball, if you connect it, either it's a big hit or it leads to disaster. In this case, it was the latter. Shishi Lions loses another wicket in the form of Abu, their captain. But... Hope still burns bright as far as Shishti Lines is concerned because down comes Kunnu, one of the star players of Shishti Lions, someone on whose shoulders a lot of responsibilities are riding. Kunnu, one of those rare all rounders and a creator of brilliant catches, brilliant shots, brilliant bowling. You know, what more can a team expect from a single individual? Let's see what magic Kunnu spins and we've spoken.
spoke to him before the match started and he had a few words to say when he mentioned that they need to mount up the score to put the opposing team and in this case i love mumbai under some amount of pressure let's see if kunnu puts his money where his mouth is It's a lovely drive by Kundu, and a good attempt by I Love Mumbai, but successfully runs covered. And I'm so sorry, you know, I was introducing Kundu to the audience, but I missed out. This is the double trouble over, sponsored by Nataraj Hospitality Bar and Grill, also known in my words as the double-edged sword. Every run taken is double. Every wicket lost is minus five from your total tally of runs. Double-edged sword works for you, works against you, and that is the beauty of the United Cricket Bash. Every opportunity given to both the teams to redeem points, score points, and win matches. Of course, this is a very important over. there will be restrategizing uh <clears throat> regrouping repositioning of players kunu and fellow player having an in-depth discussion as to what is to be done <sighs> reshuffling and replacement of players by i love mumbai they know how important this wicket of kunu will be for them can be for them or rather would be for them dawal and kunu and look what the cat dragged in azam brilliant performance by azam in the last match he has been given this opportunity to bowl this important over one run taken there Too much of pressure on Kunnu. Let's see if he can perform. Good attempt, dot ball. No runs recovered or materialized from that one single ball. Make it or break it. Oh, as far as runs are concerned. Good attempt, another dot ball by Azam. Appeal. Let's see what ball can what what can this ball do? A little bit of a confusion. A little bit of a confusion between the batsmen, but like I mentioned, I love Mumbai is not going to give any quarters here. They are going for the kill the minute they get that opportunity. good shot between the gaps one run taken doubled because of the nataraj hospitality double trouble over one run declared which means two runs so not a very productive over from trishri lions and that is exactly what i love mumbai wanted they have contained trishri lions in this double trouble over and have used the double edged sword to their benefit
Shristi Lions cheering up Kunnu, mentioning the fact that there are three more overs and they can definitely mount up the kind of score that these guys want. I love Mumbai being the smart and seasonal playing team that they are. They are repositioning their players. They know the kind of trouble that Kunnu can create. And they for sure are not going to take any chances. Kunnu again under pressure, being on the striker's end. That could have cost Shristi Lions dearly. Dhawal did not communicate with Kunnu and was going for a run. 33 for two wickets. Second ball of the sixth over. <clears throat> Kunnu on the striker's end once again. These are the kind of shots that Kunnu is famous for. Unfortunately, he couldn't materialize a big hit. And unfortunately, Isla Mumbai fielders were too late to take that catch. Lovely delivery, quite close, that would have been a wicket and that would have been back, walking back towards the pavilion, but that is not the case, let's see. Lovely fielding, good amount of commitment, they are hellbent on taking this wicket. I love Mumbai, quite confident if they are ready, if they are, sorry, if, if they are able to contain Shristi Lions till 40 to 50 runs, I love Mumbai knows for sure that they do have some amount, a great amount of scope to win this match. Ball towards Tyrell on the boundary. Quick lightning running between the wickets. Two run materialized. An amazing match of cricket being held on this Sunday of this very humid Mumbai evening. Irrespective. The amount of cheering up, the amount of support, the amount of, how, uh, you know, I'm, I'm falling short of was the amount of encouragement that the United Cricket Bash is getting in terms of the spectators, in terms of people at home watching it online, people watching it on television, and people here witnessing the match on the ground is something which gives us, gives the United Cricket Bash a major boost and which tells us that we are doing a great job.
as a spectator, not as a commentator though, but as a spectator, I am being a bit sadistic. I want something to happen, either a big hit or a wicket. You know, let's get some excitement back into this game. Oh, lovely fielding. Lovely attempt. Who's he? They don't call him the Superman for no reason. Good dive, good commitment. He died with both hands outstretched. Good fielding and good attempt by both the batsmen to conserve their wicket. Z taking over the reins. Boating. With one intention, bowling with one intention to take that very important view of Kunnu. And now is his opportunity. Kunnu on strike. That's a lovely boundary by Kunnu. My sadistic desires have been satisfied. That's a big hit by Kunnu. That is what he's famous for. And that is one of the reasons why he is the highest, bid highest bidding player. Or people have... Sorry, let me rephrase that. I'm very he is the costliest player in United Cricket Bash. That's quite sweet of Tyrell. A stray cat walked in. He just picked the cat up and you know took it out um, of the turf. That's very sweet of him. Kunnu trying to replicate that performance. Z. That was quite close. That was quite close. If Z would have hit it directly, it would have been an out. It would have, Kunnu would have gone walk, walking back to the pavilion. I'm so distracted with that. Being an animal lover, I'm so distracted with that small kitten. And that's so sweet of Tyrell. Dhawal attempts to take that big hit. I love Mumbai fumbles. And they lose out on this opportunity to take that wicket. Both sides need to bolster up if they want to make a big score either or if the bowling side needs to take a wicket. No ball given. Next ball. Free hit. Strategically, they ran and Kunu has taken the strike. Let's see how he can very well use this free hit. That was a direct hit. And I would strongly suggest the physio to uh, take a look at the bowler. That was a very powerful shot.
కొనుక్కున్ను దాట్ ఈస్ సచ్ అ బ్రిలియంట్ బ్రిలియంట్ పీస్ ఆఫ్ ఫీల్డింగ్ అ డైరెక్ట్ హిట్ ఆన్ ద వికెట్ ఆన్ ద స్టంప్స్ అండ్ స్కర్టన్స్ డౌన్ ఫర్ కొను యాజ్ హీ వాక్స్ బ్యాక్ టు ద పవిలియన్ as kunu walks in, another power pack performer comes on the field in the form of hitesh dua one of the one of the one of the many famous one of the famous and very formidable players as far as underarm cricket is concerned that's a that's a lovely shot by dhawal although he did wait for 6 overs to make this big hit but he finally did it get another power shot good running between the wickets and it is 61 runs for three wickets eighth over going on third ball This is the fourth ball of the over. Good attempt by Dua. he was unable to hit the kind of a shot that he wanted a single taken comfortably that's a good ball i love mumbai needs to make 65 runs out of 48 legal deliveries to win this match a target which is very much achievable for a team of caliber with the caliber of likes of isle of mumbai
वेलकम बैक लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन आफ्टर दिस ब्रीफ ब्रेक साइड्स हैव चेंज्ड शिष्टी लायंस ऑन द बॉलिंग साइड आई लव मुंबई बैटिंग एंड लुक हु सीम टू बैट इज द स्टार परफॉर्मर ऑफ द लास्ट मैच आजम द मैन हु कैन डू वंडर्स एंड टर्न द मैच अपसाइड डाउन we have my idol the person who my idolize uh as far as commentary is concerned including karan uh aiki bhai is back in the commentary box thank you sohail always a pleasure chatting up with you you have enough knowledge about the game and we love that our job out here is just try to try and give as much information about cricket about the kind of league that is happening here and uh, about the players and the kind of game that is happening so it's a good run chase uh, again sohail uh, i love mumbai doing it well it's not a very big total it's not a big total like bhai and uh, with the with the team like uh, i love mumbai and the caliber that they have it is quite achievable for them absolutely achievable but you know i don't know how much of it will boost uh, their chances of playing uh, you know going ahead in the league but yes uh, it will definitely give them enough confidence for season 2 and but it can dent uh, shristi lions uh, chances of going forward a loss here absolutely right uh, but you know even if Island Mumbai does not have any chance to move on the uh, uh, move up and on the in the charts uh, of UCB. They've got this opportunity opportunity to regain their lost glory. And you know they are they are such a good side uh, and you know such a widely followed side. Uh, you know the best of teams in the world have uh, off days in matches. Uh, we've seen Australia being a dominant side in world cricket, having bad patch. Uh, India has had their sides you know of bad uh, uh south africa has had so i love mumbai team is such a strong side you know they've such a brilliant side uh, ably led by ably led by uh, their captain nayar the think tank uh, you know a big force in terms of mr rahul kanal so this is brilliant it's a brilliant side it's a brilliant side uh, for any league that they participate in they've got huge fan following and that's a wicket that's, that's a wicket and that's a big wicket you know somehow sohail i feel ila mumbai has not played uh, to their potential absolutely yeah. absolutely absolutely right and uh, i keep by this is what we were discussing i was telling um, karan yesterday uh -huh. is that uh, united cricket bash has done two things first it has given an excellent platform uh, for a sport which needs recognition which is underarm cricket true second uh it has given a platform for players all across the platform all all across uh, the teams uh, to showcase their talent true absolutely and and third uh but not the least what has happened in this is that united cricket bash came after quite a few uh, other similar looking tournaments in the, in the city so everyone knows who's a good player who's who has the potential so there's no experimenting here true these are all champions in their own uh, in their own terms in their own turfs playing against each other so when you pit a good team an excellent team against a good team i'm rephrasing this yes if you pit a good team against an excellent team uh -huh. okay there is no quarter given the excellent team wins true okay so in ucb uh, you cannot survive by being a good team yes you, you need, need to better yourself team. yes you need to better yourself and True. you need to re-strategize after every ball delivered after every over delivered and i think True. that that element is lacking somewhere in i love mumbai because they have been a very formidable side which we i have witnessed only once you have witnessed a lot yes of course i follow them uh, in a big way uh, you know i love a lot of cricketers from that side uh, i've got a lot of favorites in that team paddy being one of them uh, i'm a big fan of paddy as a cricketer azam definitely you can never count uh, azam out uh, nayar their captain you know the zeeshan rehan uh, huzi nuri tyrell of course so they've got some great great uh, uh, you know players 
but coming back to 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 this uh, UCB it also uh, you know a lot of teams have not performed to their potential, potential is because absolutely. of the kind of turf this is you know it's not the regular turf that you get to play on um, there's a lot of turn uh, the ball there's a different bounce to it so you know people getting adjusted you know people adjusting to this turf is also something that uh, that happens over over a period of time. So Isla Mumbai is coming good now, you know, because the initial matches they were not used to the turf and you were not used to this uh, uh, the playing conditions. So that could be one of the reasons where a lot of teams, uh, you know, look at a team like uh, Viking Warriors, uh, Sohail. If you look at that team, uh, they have plenty of uh, superstars in their team. You know, Prithvi is there, Asif, Rizwan, who's part of Team Playboy. You've got Mansoor, you've got Faraz, uh, you've got uh, Nadim, their owner. Uh, Wasim unfortunately is travelling and is injured. Nadim himself is injured. So uh, Para, Sahil, uh, you know, these are all very good cricketers. But they've just not come good. So it all depends. I think it's got so much to do with, uh, with, with the kind of turf this is. Not easy to play on this. Where else? Uh, you look at somebody like uh, Shreem Spartan. They've scored a 77, they've scored an 88. So it's, it's also uh, how well and how fast you can adjust uh, to the... To the you know, to the turf and the surroundings and the boundary hittings. Uh, so, Hill, a lot of teams have been uh, finding it difficult to hit boundaries. But you look at somebody from uh, Shreem Spartans, uh, uh, Sushant and Sagar, or even uh, Harsh. Yes, yes. Right. You know, they have consistently hit sixes. Amin uh, from uh, All Monsters was the first man to hit a Super 8. Uh, Imran Lashkarya, I think, hit three consecutive sixes. So, it's a, it's a bag of mixed bones, uh, you know, uh, where someone is just going out and performing and hitting sixes, where else someone else is just not able to. So you think, uh, you know, season two people will be more or better prepared for, uh, for this uh, format? So uh, the question to your answer is twofold. Okay. okay. Uh, first point is that my definition of an excellent team is a set of people who very quickly adopt to a certain amount, a certain type of uh, ambience or infrastructure given to them. Be it the lighting, be it the turf, be it the type of players that they have. So like you mentioned while you were talking, adjusting very quickly to the circumstances around you and for you, uh, I think that's a definition of an excellent team and as far as season 2 of UCB is concerned, uh, inshallah, it is going to be so great. We'll have to put up a ticket counter outside for people to pay well, and watch. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys will do a great job. You all have done a fantastic job to put this together. Entire team of, uh, you know, United Ventures and United Cricket Bash. All of you all put together have done a great job. I'm, I'm glad that, I, you know, I, I stay so close by. So it's always uh, nice for me to... You know, drop by and support uh, support the league as much as I can, because after all, we've known each other for so long. All our friends, we've been together. We know each other. It's always nice to be a part of a league, uh, wherever it is. I've travelled. Uh, I've 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 had the opportunity to go and play in Delhi against the MPs. I played a match against them, where Bollywood was taking a part in that for a charitable. Uh, oh, wow. uh, you know, an NGO. Uh, so I was I was fortunate enough to play that game, and I had some big names out there uh, from the sports fraternity. So you know it's nice. Uh, you know I travel. I mean wherever possible, I I try and make it a point to be a part of any league wherever I can lend any support, or even sitting on the com box and talking about it with wonderful people like yourselves. So it's always nice. It's always nice to chat up about the sport. You know I I, I always believe, and this is what Walt Disney said. He said that when uh, passionate people collect together, the result is always wonderful. I, I second that all the way. It's a wonderful thought, wonderful words uh, uh, said, uh, and it's a proven fact. Uh, so it's nice, it's nice. You know, uh, you see families coming together, you know, uh, fiancé supporting their, uh, their uh, you know, their partner, wives coming, their parents coming and supporting their team. So it's... It's such a wonderful uh, effort made by Team UCB, Fahim Bhatliwala, Karan Tandan, uh, Wahab Barudgar, obviously the Chunawala brothers, Sohail Qureshi himself, you, that you obviously taking your name and not forgetting that Zamir uh, and all the team owners. Uh, so, you know, we, I, I heard, I was talking to Fahim the other day mm -hmm. 
and he was talking about uh, as many leagues as possible that he would want to try and promote or try and introduce. Uh, RF is planning the same. So we are hoping, um, you know, at least I would like to wish you all the best. Thank you so much, take this forward. And, uh, you know, um, on a, from, from a philosophical st standpoint of view, I would also like to point out to you as well as our audiences watching back home, uh, India is not called uh, a cosmopolitan country for no reason. You know, a very intricately woven social fabric that we have in the country. And cricket is a very good example of that. There is no racism, no caste, no creed, nothing at all. It's like if, if this is this is your worship it's like people from all uh, types of economical social background uh, any type of religion that they practice they all come together and work as a team so what more can be there to set an example for a country like india absolutely true and it's a it's a fact we've seen it religion uh, you know cricket is religion for us we've got a tremendous amount of uh, super cricketers that india has produced over a period of time and uh, fortunately, UCB is doing that today. We're going to see some new cricketers, uh, new heroes coming out. Uh, you know, so I'm sure uh, UCB is going to do a great job. Uh, coming back to the total, 31 uh, in four overs. So they are on target. Uh, they, need, they need another 35 odd or 34 odd in the next uh, four overs. Absolutely, Aki Bhai. And, you know, before, uh, even before the match started, I said uh, that um, Isla Mumbai was out of the comfort zone as far as the last match was concerned. But with this match, if they are able to contain the total score of Shishti Lions, these guys are laser focused, man. They are going to go for it. Of course, I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Uh, so this is a good. You know, even the previous match that we saw that Isla Mumbai played, uh, it was a huge total, 88. Absolutely. But Azam was uh, again. You know, he did a fantastic job trying to chase that run down. 88 was always going to be huge, but at one point of time, you know, they looked very comfortable. They were almost on par yes. with the score. Yes. And even now, you know, unless uh, something silly happens over here, because this is the uh, Natraj uh, Double Trouble Over, uh, sponsored by Natraj Hospitality Bar and Grill. Uh, you know, any any mess up here can hamper their their chances of a victory here. Yeah, like like I've uh, pet named it as the double double edged sword. You know, it can swing on both sides. So let's see. But I think uh, either the best part about the double trouble over is either the batting side plays it really safe, or they go for those big sixes. Yeah, but still looking at the situation they are in right now, they don't really need to try anything uh, silly. Exactly. Azam is a very experienced player. Uh, they've got their captain Nayar, who's again too much of experience and a fantastic cricketer. Besides that, a fantastic human being. Uh, you know, so they they have the right pair at crease at the crease right now. So uh, we can see the back of Mustakim M S. Mustakim is one of those players who always has a big smile on his face. Well, look at that commentator's curse, as I was talking about. A silly catch dropped. That should have been taken and from a good, good cricketer, a safe fielder. But he just lets go. But that's good, uh, you know, good spirit by the wicket keeper. Just walks up to the, bat, uh, to the fielder, encourages him, asks him to just move on. And Abu, with all their experience, uh, bowling the... Bowling the fifth over. Abu has taken over the reins uh, for, for the important double trouble over. Um, let's see, I, I don't think so. Azam, <laughs> Azam being the, the kind of personality that he is, I don't think so he's going to buckle under pressure. No, he won't. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, but all I'm saying is just one uh, act of spectacular catch or a you know, spectacular move by Team Shrishti Lion can uh, yeah, put a curtain on his... Uh, there it is. There it there is, it is. Dubai, there it is. You know, it's someone with so much of experience plays the same shot again. again absolutely. He was just dropped the previous ball and he plays the same shot and straight into the hands of the fielder. And he gets punished for it. And, and how? And that was not needed, you know. Not needed at all, at all. Like they were going so well and now it is simply putting a little bit of pressure on uh, the batting side. Exactly. 
look, you have Nuri. Too much of uh, too. Much, he's a good cricketer. Plays a lot of cricket. You've got Hoozy and you've got Tyrell to come. So it's, a, it's it's an impressive lineup. I don't think so. It was they had that need to throw away uh, a wicket in this manner at this point of time. Look, there's been a thought uh, thought behind uh, sending Nuri up the order before Paddy or before someone else. I'm sure he has uh, the captain has a lot of confidence in him, and uh, I'm sure he will deliver for Team I Love Mumbai. Quite a formidable side I Love Mumbai has been in uh, other tournaments. Well done! Just saved it. Kept it to a single. Raj has done well after dropping that catch. Coming back strong. Picking up that catch and saving his team a single. So last two balls of the fifth over. Was that a catch? Drop catch, Sohail. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a drop catch. And you, you can see that reaction. The you know, bowler's the reaction. For guessing. Even a kid could guess something's gone wrong. Well, that wasn't too difficult, the catch to be dropped, you know. Uh, pressure, Akibai, pressure gets to the best of us. Again. There you have a comfortable two taken. So, the last three overs, 31 needed, I think. 31 of 18. Oh, 29 needed of 18 balls. Quite an achievable target. Uh, it's not too much because see, uh, all you need is one six to get them, uh, you know, to release that pressure and get them sailing. And they have they have enough batting, Sohail. They have uh, the big hitters of Hoozy and uh, Tyrell to do that. Yes, the arsenal is not over yet. They've got three three more batsmen, right? Oh, very good batsmen. They've got Paddy left. Uh, Paddy. They've got Tyrell. They've got Hoozy. I think uh, Zishan is still to bat. And Zishan is uh, quite a handful as a batsman. So, they've got enough batting. And when you have Nayar there and Nuri at the crease, um, you know, the batting uh, looks uh, endless. The lineup looks endless. We know this and so do Shishti Lions. And that's precisely the reason why they're regrouping and re-strategizing. Uh, look, for them, uh, for Shishti Lion, uh, the writing is there on the wall. They just need to pick up wickets. As many wickets as possible. Uh, that is the only way they will put uh, a team like I Love Mumbai under any pressure whatsoever. If they've picked up uh, at least two, three wickets, at least two in this over. Yeah, they need to pick up two uh, wickets in this over to uh, pressurize a team like I Love Mumbai. And I Love Mumbai needs those big hits in this over to pressurize Shishti Lions. Look, they play a fearless cricket. I mean, that's what I like about I Love Mumbai. Uh, they play aggressive and fearless cricket. I mean, any situation, they can bounce back into a game. And uh, so, you know, for someone else who's playing against them, uh, all they need to do is get them all out. It's as simple as that. Get wickets. That was a good ball, so Hale, but uh, called dead because it was gone around the waist or sidearm action, rather. Sidearm action, absolutely. Is not allowed. Am I right, so Hale? Yes, absolutely. Oh. That's a big wicket. You don't want to lose Nair to a shot like that. Uh, you know, another crucial thing that I have, I have seen, I mean, you cannot keep... Uh, you know, changing your batting order every time. Uh, you need to have your at least top four batsmen, fixed top yes. four batsmen consistently exactly. playing. Uh, because the role of a batsman, you know, mentally you're prepared that you're going to be opening. You mentally you're prepared to come one drop. And you tend to play accordingly. So you got to identify the strength of each batsman and then not make too many changes. Let that be there, you know, at least 
if you're playing a league where there are nine matches that you get to play, you know, at least for the first four matches, do not make too many changes. Stick to your four to five batsmen that are going to play your opening, your number one and number two batsmen. Don't make too many changes there because you need to have, the batsmen need to have enough confidence. That's, that, that's precisely, uh, you know, a worldwide phenomenon, Akibai. Is that... Uh, uh, I think it's got to do with the... Well, the runners, uh, if, if the team is allowing you to have a runner, it has to be of the same category who's batting. Oh, okay. So, this is what uh, I think is the rule. They have been nice enough, Shrishti Lions again. We know Z is carrying an injury. So, I really appreciate, uh, you know, captains like Abu for now, allowing a runner for Z. That is a nice gesture. It goes to show... You know, the kind of spirit people are playing with. Absolutely, uh, Aki Bhai. Or it's a very sweet gesture from uh, the captain of Shishti Lions. Well bowled. He's bowling really well. There's a lot of loop in that delivery. You know, he's really tossing the ball. But he's getting enough turn. No ball. Great running, great running by Nuri. Great running by Nuri, uh, Aki Bhai. And um, I think that catch missed is going to cost. Oh yes, uh, because uh, Z can uh, hit the ball hard. Oh, uh, one of those upsides, one of the positives about UCB is that uh, I have learned more about cricket in these past few days than I have learned in... Uh, Dead ball given uh, by the Empire. 39 runs, 3 wickets. That's quite rare uh, from Kunnu Akibai. I know that's a rare uh, this thing. Another thing that I'm talking about, till the time Z is there. Z is timing the ball well. And you have Hoosie to come and Paddy to come. So, you know. Absolutely. It is going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a chase. You think this match is going to go to the last ball? Well, look, if Z is playing the way he's playing, he's an aggressive cricketer. He's out there to hit those fours and sixes. If he can get going in this over, you know, you can, uh, you can see an early finish. So yeah, so what I was mentioning is that the positive about UCB is that I have learned more about cricket in these past few days than what I have learned in 34 years of my existence. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. So it's always a learning experience, you know. I mean, I mean, I learn something every day. Uh, you know, every time you travel, you meet new people, you talk to new people. Absolutely. Either it's about sports, it's about life, or basically in general, there's always so much to learn. Uh, and, and, and I've always aspired... Uh, to be a commentator and this is you know my debut and I thank you and Karan and the UCB team for giving me this opportunity and I hope and I wish someday that we have an underarm night tournament world cup and I would host that <laughs> you know look I, I never say never because anything is a possibility uh, you know when we started the league in uh, Bandra mm -hmm. there was a lot of cricket being played before prior to, to, to where we came into play uh, but the height that uh, a league like this, like this has reached it has got to do with a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, executing and all of that. And that is how a league reaches uh, the stage where it has. 
Now, what we can do is we can try and promote it as much as, as possible. possible. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully someday uh, a league like this gets a recognition, recognition where we can uh, we can uh, basically host an event uh, such as this. And to be very honest with you, Sohail, it's a, it's it's a bra it's a great uh, concept or great thought. What you have, uh, I mean, you've just put forward. Uh, if 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 we cannot say if we if we not talk about the world world uh, world cup rather an in India level, uh, but even event. on a higher level than what we are playing today, it, it, there is a possibility. There is a possibility. So the idea behind when we decided to have a league such as this, uh, when we started off in Bandra, well, the idea was that to go pan India. You know, we wanted to go pan India. And I think UCB, the, t the think tank of uh, UCB, is uh, already on the verge of it. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, some wonderful, wonderful people who are who are who are planning uh, things like that. So I'm sure God will, God willing, inshallah, where we can uh, see something like this, Sohail. You know, inshallah, I, I wish, and I think all the audiences watching back at home on the internet and on uh, television also hope that this sport goes bigger oh it will you look see look uh, this is the first time when we started in bandra it was the first time when uh, you know 11 players could participate in an underarm league uh, you know the cameras uh, the cameras being there a match is going live on youtube uh, having a giant screen a referral allowed you know these new rules that that have been added so this is uh, this is the effort of uh, you know where we we put in and we created a league like this uh well it's it's a different thing altogether when a lot of people don't uh, appreciate it yeah absolutely uh, no but but, uh, but, but Akiba, if, sorry to interrupt you but you know there's this fleeing thought in my mind and i just want to put it out is that um, what we see sitting here looks quite normal but uh, unbelievable amount of hard work is gone in terms of setting up the infrastructure. Look at the amount of cameras, the LED screens, uh, the people working behind the curtain as far as food and beverage arrangements are concerned, as far as getting sponsors are concerned. So I think uh, it, is a, it is a big step for us uh, as far as organizing this event is concerned also. Of course it is. It is there's a lot of... See, look, uh, you know what happens is there are the team owners who come forward, put their team together through the process of an auction. But, you know, even even getting to that, even prior to that, or there's a whole lot of planning that goes into it. Every time you come onto the ground to play a match, you have to see when the preparation start. Uh, you know, the amount of people, the number of people who are there uh, taking care of the camera setup. You know, the FNB, as you said, the water, the, the staff that is there, the crew that is there on the ground. Um, you know, so everything is a hard. Everything is a lot of hard work, but it does pay off. Today, you have people sitting and watching at the venue. You, we've had. Uh, I think uh, UCB has had a huge number of viewers on viewers. Uh, online on YouTube. On, on, on YouTube, as well as uh, I'm sure at the end of uh, end of the league, uh, I've heard. I've spoken to Fahim about it, and Arif and Karan and Wahab about it. Uh, well, there's going to be a report uh, for the life. A viewership that we've oh, had wow. on Seven Star. So to see the number of people who have somehow, uh, the number of people who have watched this and the reruns. So you know, that's uh, wonderful. Yeah. So we just want to see how much of it is actually reaching out to the 15 lakh odd uh, viewers. viewers that are there of Seven Star. Yeah, digital, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you know, Seven Star has been wonderful. I think Mr. Narendra Varma has been wonderful giving this venue, being a part absolutely. of this uh, event. Uh, so this is uh, this is a great gesture. Uh, and That's a lot of effort. Great catch by Kunu. Finally, he comes good. Uh, he's hit 1-6. He's picked up that catch. And uh, that's a big hitting title goes out. Uh, big hitting title goes out and Kunu takes that catch. He makes it look easy, Akibai. Look, I, I, look, the last over, we were talking, we were looking at 35 runs in that fifth over. And they lost that one wicket, brought it down to 30 odd. Now, they've come to the last over oh. and they need uh, almost 21 runs. So how this is how cricket is. It's a absolutely, funny game. Absolutely, it's, it's an absolutely funny game, and uh, you know how things turn and change so quickly. Uh, absolutely with an, unpredictable sport. Yeah, but, but any sport is unpredictable, though. 
Yeah, absolutely, yeah. it is. It is. In but terms you, of cricket, you know, it is. I think it is more unpredictable. Uh, uh, true, but you know, uh, a lot of people tend to forget. Uh, uh, Sohail is that you know, cricket is just not played. Uh, you know, f you physically being there. Uh, you know, it's 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 more mental, mental as well. As well it's, yeah, exactly. By the, the end of the game, you are mentally and. Yes, true. But, um, you know, I mean, you go to plan and strategize and, uh, you know, every absolutely. ball that you face. Uh, this is the reason why, you know, you have one Virat Kohli, you have one A.B. De Villiers, uh, you have one Sachin Tendulkar. Yes, yes, yes. Very truly, very nicely put up. You know, because it's not just how physically strong A.B. De Villiers supposedly plays all the sports, even for his uh, for his country. Yes. He's, he's played hockey, he's played football, he's played, uh, I think, rugby. rugby. Uh, so... You know, besides being physical, there has to be a whole lot of mental capacity or mental strength for you to cope with so many sports. That's a good shot. And that's out. So that's the last of Z that we'll see in this innings. He did his bit, but unfortunately could not uh, take them through. But we still have Hoosie and... Uh, Superman takes over the Superman takes Z. over and comes Paddy. There comes Paddy on the non-striker's end. Superman on the striker's end. Kunnu has been given the last over. Let's see what wonders these guys can do. It's like these titans being pitched against each other. Yes. Big names. Dead ball called. Dead ball called. So too low a ball. That's a good call. The umpires are being as fair as possible. The ball is absolutely low. He needs to raise the bar a little bit. Well, ball in the block hole, Kunu this time. Kunu balls the ball right in the block hole. Now, Paddy on strike, one of my most favorite players in Team I Love Mumbai, and a fantastic human being. Not given, not given. Not given. And look at Hoosie having some fun out there. <laughs> at times, sarcasm can be a very good medicine to ease out all that pressure. Hoosie just trying to make light of the situation. Well done by Hoosie. So we're going to look at that. How low was that catch? And he's taken the ball clearly. Once more. We'd like to see that replay again. Just see that again. The decision goes in favor of the bowling side. So, Sistri Lion pick up one more wicket. Last three balls to go. Three, ball three to consecutive go sixes can do the trick for them. Oh, sorry. That's, I'm sorry, but it's last two deliveries. Two legal deliveries. Unless we drop in a no ball and a big six of that. And a six again. And a six again. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to make light of the situation right now. And uh, umpires call. And that is a formality. And we are done with it. We are done with it, Akibai. And Shilayan moves forward. So Shishri Lions uh, finish off the game in style. 
45 is what uh, Isla Mumbai could make.